So, new load J meter. So, we have the different different tools in the market. So, why we need to do for the performance testing? First thing. So, performance testing, why we need to do means nowadays, what will happen? Everyone is uh, depends on the internet and they are doing for the, their transactions, whatever maybe everyone doing for the online only. So, then what will happen? Application load will be more. For example, Facebook will be there. Okay, or Instagram will be there. So, what will happen? Day to day users are increasing and they are doing for the like uh, uploading video, downloading, watching, uh, ad posting, so and message sending. So, these all things performing from the every user. So, day to day users increasing, what will happen? Their application will be slow, right? So, these kind of things happen, even though if you uh, like uh, observe Amazon Flipkart. So, day-to-day -day users are increasing. At the same time, we have any offer means everyone is coming to the, the particular time, offers time, and eating to the application, and they are selecting for a product and buy the product. So, at that time, number of users will be accessed. So, if they are not done for the performance testing before going to the offers, okay, if they are not, like, uh, what will happen? Their application will be slow, and at the same time, their application will be cross all cities happen. So nowadays, performance testing is a very major key point. Once complete for the application development, once complete for the manual automation, and final stage is the hours performance testing. So in the final stage performance testing, we need to give for the like to sign up. So any application, for example, some banking application will be there. Okay, as a one team is developed that application, banking application, and after that, that is uh, some testing point of view, some manual testing, automation testing, some team is done. Okay. Then what will happen after that? You need to do certify that performance also. Okay. This application, it is a 50 user, 50,000 users or 1 lakh user access also. Your application will be, nothing will happen. You need to certify. Then only that application, it will go into the live. Live nothing but as a user we are using right some different applications banking application we are using insurance application and as same to the like we have the uh, banking insurance healthcare applications e-commerce applications like uh, amazon flipkart snapdeal so these are all application we are using so means we need to certify finally you need to certify okay this application performance testing done Okay, this application will work with the multiple user point of view. So, you, if you certify only, that application will go into the line. Okay, so means we need to test the application, how the application is going. So, in our training, I will give for the training, load runner and J meter will provide for the this duration. Like duration is happen from the 30 to 45 days. Daily one hour section will be there. Every day class is completed. Tomorrow will be like I will give for the work assignments. At the same to the what is the topic discussed for today class. Tomorrow will be interview section. And as same to the some one topic is completed. That one topic the weekend uh, like one hour will conduct from the interview section also. So means why we are doing like this means if you get job without anyone support you need to do for the your work without support anyone so if you follow me for like this path 30 to 45 days so you definitely without support anyone you can do for the your work okay so uh, we'll start this section just to today's section i will give for the this demo for only uh, load runner like end to end testing as a performance testing what things we can do end to end what is our work if you are going to as a performance test engineer position, what is your work? Okay, we'll decide for the today class. Okay, so this is the load runner. Okay, uh, if you go to the here, so once we can download the load runner, we can see for the options. Uh, virtual user generator will be there. Okay. So this is the virtual user generator. Everyone able to see? Virtual user generator means load runner is a one software. Once you can uh, like installation completed, you are able to see the virtual user generator. 
and analysis and controller. These three components you can like using for the load runner, we have the multiple different components like virtual user generator, analysis and controller. So means once you can installation software completed, you are able to see for the, these three software. So using these three only, we can do for the, our end-to-end -end testing. So what is the virtual user generator? Nothing but see, we have the components in load runner. load runner components what are there means one is a virtual user generator and second one is for the controller and third one is the analyzer so these are the three components so using this three only, we can do for the our end-to-end -end testing. So first thing, what is virtual user generator? So you know, right in software, we have the different type of applications we are using. What are the, we know, banking application, we are using for the online banking and insurance and same to the healthcare domains. healthcare and uh, uh, like e-commerce applications, e-commerce nothing but Flipkart, Amazon, this all it is coming from the e-commerce application. Apart from this uh, social website also, like uh, social website nothing but, okay, Facebook, uh, Instagram. So this real time, any application you are using, that application must we need to do for the performance testing. So means any application, any kind of application, this is a mobile application or whatever may be healthcare or insurance or e-commerce, social site, website or any application, we need to perform the performance testing. So maybe you are not done perform testing, what will happen? Maybe in your mind means what will happen, right? So number of users at a time it will attack for the, their application. Immediately their application will be cross or it will be slow for their application. So that is why each and every company, any software is development is completed, must without perform testing, that application is not going to the live. Okay. So now virtual user generator. What is the virtual user generator? Nothing but it will be record the section, like what is the application we have, banking application or in the insurance, whatever your application. You can record the statement like a script and generate for the script statement purpose. We can use for the virtual user generator. So means, so any of the application, for example, I will show the one application. Okay. Uh, some pestor application, like I, uh, I want to book the pestor. Okay. Otherwise. Okay. So this is the one URL, this application, for example, I want to test. So this is the pet store application means I want to book the one pet. I order the one pet. So this application I want to test means. So before you want to test means first you should understand the application. What steps I can do. Like first what I did, I did for the launch. And after that, if you do for the any kind of application without login, we don't, we don't go to the application, right? So you need to click on for the sign in. And after that, you need to give for the username and password. Provide the username and password. Just click on this. So after that, we can observe login is successfully done. And after that, we have the different type of pets. Fish, dogs, cats, and birds. We have different type of. So which pet you want to order, you need to select that. For example, I want to fish. So you can click on that. So in the fish, we have different type of products will be there. So we can select any one of the product. And after that, in this product also, we have the types will be there. You can select from the which one you want. You need to add from the cart. You want to buy, order the pet means we need to just click on add to cart. And here it is asking for the quantity, like how many you want. You want two, three, you can mention from here. And click on proceed to check out. So here it is asking for the payment details. Like you can select for the what card type or 
can give for the card number, address, all details you need to provide this and just click on continue. So you can observe, please confirm your information. What are the your details you have provided? Just it is asking from the to confirm. Just click on the confirm. Okay, just click for the confirm. So now you can observe. Finally, you can see here. Thank you for your order has been submitted. Means your order will be delivered from the this shipping address. So this application you need to test means first, okay, I want to do for the login. And after that, I want to click for the some pet. In that pet, what are the types will be there? I want to add to cart and add from the address details and all details after that submit. And finally, will be once all things is completed, we need to sign out also must. So this is the our business flow. Maybe banking application will be there. Assume anyone can explain what are the steps we can perform banking means. Like launch the banking application, any kind of application, the ICC or FBA, whatever may be. And after that, what we can do, login is must. And after that, maybe withdraw, uh, like uh, transfer the money. Otherwise, checkbook request. Okay. And after that, you want for the, what are the things you can perform and finally it will be logged. So means each application will be, these are the steps. So these steps we can record means, where we can record means, using for the virtual user generator, we can record the business flow and generate for the script statement purpose, we can use for the virtual user component. So when you are uh, logging, right, you can observe when you are logging, we are logging with a single user. But what is performance testing? We can test with the multiple users. So means multiple users. Why? Because as a real time, what will happen is Facebook will be there. Only me only using Facebook are you guys also using or not? Everyone using. So at the time application will be load will be more. That is why we need to do the performance testing with the multiple user point of view. So once your script is ready from in this virtual user generator, that script you can push into the controller. Means you can push to the controller and execute with the multiple users. Like you want for the 50 users, 100 users, or 50,000 users, or 1 lakh, whatever may be, you need to do from the all things in the controller. So once controller is completed, analyzer. Analyzer, nothing but just you want to analyze the results. Like what are the steps we have, right? For example, Store application only we can take. Okay, pay store application. What are the steps we performed? Launch, launch application, and the second step, what we did, login, and third step, select from the pet. Select pet. And uh, fourth step, what we did in the pet, we can select from the select product. Select product. And fifth one, what we did, uh, just uh, add to cart. And sixth step, what we need to do, add to cart, after add to cart, we need to enter from the details are uh, proceed to check out uh, okay payment details just enter as a payment details so after that we are confirm the details confirm and final will be you know if you confirm your order will be ready log out log out so this application example as a 10 users we are executed Okay, each step, like we can call it as a each and every step, we can call it as a our performance terminology as a transaction. Launch is one transaction, login is one transaction, select some pet is one transaction, and add to court payment means each and every one we can call it as a transaction. Like you are just one user point of view or recorded script here. That script you are pushing into the controller, some hundred users. So once the execution is completed with the 100 users, you need to analyze the, like each and every transaction, how much time it is happened from the 100 users. 
average response time how much time it is happened launch is happen for example you are open for the analyzer tool you are observe that some uh, 1.8 seconds happen from the average from the 100 users okay we are tested 100 users say zoom 100 users so launch is happen from the 100 users is the 1.8 and log uh, like login it is happen 1.4 second okay and uh, after that select uh, pet it is happen from the 1.2 second and uh, select a product it is happen from the 1.6 and add to cart it is happen from the 1.0 second okay and payment details it is happen from the 1.8 and confirm details it is happen from the 2.0 and logout is happened from the one point some five. So once you are analyzing the results using for the analyzer, we want to analyze the like launch is how much time it is happened from the hundred users average response time. Actually, client is provided client provided SLA. We can call it as a SLA service level agreement. Each and every transaction don't cross from the more than two second. That is the is SLA. If you test with the hundred users or thousand users, whatever may be as per client expectation users, don't cross for the each and every transaction two seconds. So then analyzer means what we we need to analyze. Okay, launch is one point eight. Okay, means we are within the two second. Then good. Okay, login is one point four. That's good. Select product and add to cart. But you can observe, click on confirm is there. This is happen from the two point three. It is the same as expected as a client. No, right? 2.3 seconds. It is a more. So that is why client will be never accept this results. So we need to find out if it is a, for example, it is a 1.3. Then all transaction will be within the two seconds. Yes or no? So everything is good. Then everything is good. Just we can send out for the one mail. We are executed with the 100 users pay store application. We are observed that each and every transaction response time will be within the two seconds. Please find the below results. Just you can copy paste from the this all to the as a table. Then you can send. Then your job will be done. Maybe it is some payment or any one of the transaction. It is a more than 2.8 seconds. So more than 2.8 seconds means, okay, you are sent these results, client will be never accept because my two seconds only it is happen, but the payment is happening from the 2.8 seconds. So you need to find the issue, where could be problem, you need to identify that issue. And again, you can do for the one more execution and we are meeting our SLA or not, we need to check. Then what you can mean, then, Again, our job will be, you need to understand that, okay, first thing, if you are doing for the any kind of testing, right, as a user, it is take for the some CPU utilization, some memory utilization. For example, we'll open for the task manager. We can see here. Okay, you can see here here processes you can observe what are the things we are open in our system each and every one it is taking some cpu utilization some memory utilization observe so some cpu utilization some memory utilization it is coming means as a user you are testing 100 users means each user also it is take some cpu utilization memory utilization so 100 user point of view, CPU memory is uh, it is crossing more than 70 percentage. You can observe here 20 percentage, 40 percentage will be there, right? When you are executing the test, you are observe that it is crossing for the 80 percent of the memory and CPU. So means those users, you don't have sufficient CPU utilization, memory utilization. Okay. So then we need to identify the issue. CPU is and memory is not sufficient, you are observed. So observations only as a performance test engineer, we can do as a observations only. 
once the observation you find okay cpu is the memory is crossing for the some 85 percentage then next to what is your job means just to we have the some teams will be there some ems team or has some help desk team some it teams will be there just you can send out the one mail we are executed pestor application with 100 users we are observed that cpu memory it is crossing for the more than 85 percentage because of that my payment transaction response time it is happened for the more than sla then what they can do they said they will increase for the cpu like last time your 2 gb 2 mb memory will be there they will increase for the 2 gb to 6 gb and again okay they are updated what is the mail you are sent right they will update it okay we are increased for the cpu memory digestion then what will happen again you need to do for the testing and after that you can observe that payment is happening from the only 1.8 second so all transactions will be within the sla then good you can send this report to the client so this is only your job end to end testing this is only your job so someone irfan right everyone are getting my wife irfan is not getting i got message from irfan no i am getting voice okay okay thank you thank you thank you irfan so now this everything we can see from the practical now okay just i will record from the this pestor application and we can execute from the controller and we need to analyze the results each and every transaction how much response time happen we can do for the now as a practical so you are doing for the performance testing and also end to end testing this is only okay now let's go to the practical everything okay so first thing you are record the script means first what are the steps i want to re record that could be clear for you any application that is the banking or insurance or any application because now i want to test from the test store application means these steps will be only i want to record like launch login select product this only i can do now we'll move to the real time everything okay our classes everything is the real time because every day what i am doing in my office so that is all i am explaining so this course is a very important if you follow the 30 days regularly and what are the assignments are given you can done so you get the four years experience guy how is doing for this work you also do for the same day okay so now i will opening for the virtual user generator so after installation software we can see for these three so now i am opening for the virtual user generator see this is the virtual user generator so i think uh, better to we can rejoin everyone uh, like this meeting is a uh, 10 minutes it is a uh, discontinue okay after that uh, i will inform you everyone will be rejoined okay okay now i am opening for the virtual user generator So once you can open the virtual user generator, it will be look like this. Now just you can click for the year drop down, add new script. Nothing you can do, just click for the add new script. So if you click that, one pop-up window will be open. See, this is the one, create new script. Here we have the protocols will be there i will explain for the protocols web http html protocol so what is the web http html protocol nothing but so if you are doing for the any kind of web application you want to record the using virtual user generator you need to use for the web http html application nowadays you can observe everything will be web applications only banking insurance healthcare e-commerce applications social website and all applications will be web only so that is the way we need to select always web http html for here we need to give for the name of the our script so now this is a very important also because everyone we are going as experience right when you are providing for the script naming also we need to provide for the carefully clearly so now which application we are testing we are testing for the pest store application Pestor application. In the Pestor application, what is your scenario? 
book the pet pet booking you can give it as a scenario name is a pet booking so after that just give for the date of the today date you can provide 13 0 8 20 23 so naming convention also very important because really as the you are uh, experienced game is you need to provide like this okay application name and what is the scenario and current date so if you enter for the company also anyone see this okay is giving for the naming conventions good means okay is a professional guy so if you do work uh, more also no problem but uh, this kind of things very important naming conventions will be see because work means you can do for the like you can do uh, you can do for the hard work and then you can prove it but when you are someone is observing for you they will see for that how you are giving for the naming conventions okay so just like given skip name click on create button so our virtual user generator it is open like this so you can observe this is the your script name so here no need to write any code directly we can record only so just here record button is there everyone able to see just click for that record button and after that one pop-up window will open start recording window for here recording browser because you are doing for the web applications means we can select as a web browser only that's fine application application nothing but so we have the different browsers google chrome microsoft edge internet explorer so different different applications we have so you can select for the any one of the browser for i am selecting as a google chrome and after that here this is the very important thing url address means which application you are testing you need to provide that application url here for example you are testing for the uh, some sba sba dot o dot in so means i am testing for this application you need to provide this application maybe i am testing facebook then you need to give for the www.facebook.com so means i told right we have different kind of my application web applications how to we can record means this is the way like which application you are testing that application url you need to provide here now we are doing for the pay store application right just to go to the here application just you can copy this url just control c and go to the our right just give for the this one means this url will be provided for the your like uh, our teammates or your lead who is the like when they are assigning work right okay we need test for the some pet store application this is the url this is the like uh, steps you need to do the performance testing they will provide uh, everything no worry so me only they select for the uh, like steps this all will be known okay they will provide everything just you want to record this so now everyone is clear so now just click for the start record button just click on okay then what will happen right which browser you are selected that browser automatically it will open no need to open manually our tool itself it is open so you can observe our browser is opening see automatically the browser is open i selected as a google chrome and you can observe for the url also pestor application automatically that application is opening from the here means no need to uh, like only when you are uh, perfect for the application point of view just check from the manually from the browser but when you are record the right you can select for the which browser you want to select and just click on that and automatically your uh, browser will be in work see now you can observe launch is completed everyone able to see i'm not uh, 
uh, enter anything automatically our tool itself is recording now next what we can do we know right steps anyone next what we can do sign in right so you need to provide for the sign in also here so this is the insert Tra transaction means you what you are doing you need to provide this just click on this okay login okay click on okay then you can perform the login just click on this and provide from the login details click on login see Login is completed, right? You are entered for the start transaction is login. You have the end transaction also will be there. Just click on here. Just login end because you need to provide for the start transaction and transaction also. Now next what we are doing, we are click for the any one of the pet. So same thing you need to provide the name is a click on pet. Just I am click for the pet. So click on pet is completed. You should be end the, this transaction. Click on pet. Next, what we are doing? We are selecting the product. So what you are doing, you need to provide here. Select product. Okay. Select product. And just click on. Okay. Then you can select for the any one of the product. And after that, you need to end the select product again what you are doing add to cart just click for the start transaction and give it as a add to cart then just click for the add to cart so add to cart is completed so you can proceed checkout also it is uh, adding from the right i am not giving transaction proceed to checkout and after that you are uh, Cart is added. So add to cart ended. Next, what you are doing? You are entering from the payment details. So just you can provide as a payment. Click on OK. Just provide from the continue. And uh, click on confirm. Also one of the transaction. Again, I'm giving for the confirm. So click on this and see your thank you for your order is done. Then finally will be logout. So that is also one transaction logout. So logout. So logout is.